Okay, problem number 19. Which is the inverse of f of x equals 1.5 to the x plus 4? Uh, and then we have each of these choices. We want to find out what the inverse is. So I'm going to do this first algebraically, and then I'll show some graphical methods you could use also to solve for this problem, um, and then a table method also. But first, let's just use, do this algebraically. So we've got f of x equals 1.5 to the x plus 4. So when we're solving inverse functions, the first thing we want to do is let's just change f of x to y. That's going to make it easier to work with. So we get y equals 1.5x plus 4. So instead of saying fx, I'm just saying y. They mean very similar things, just easier to work with algebraically making it do y. Then I'll flip my x and y. I'll flip the positions that they're in. So this will become x equals 1.5 to the y plus 4. Okay, now I just got to solve for y. So x equals 1.5 to the y plus 4. I'll just subtract 4 from both sides. I get x minus 4 equals 1.5 to the y. Now I'm in some trouble because I've got my y in the exponent spot. So what I want to do then is if I've got a vari the variable I want in my exponent, I just want to convert it then to logarithmic form. Remember, uh, we had the logarithmic form to exponential, so if we have a to the x equals b, this means the same thing as log base of a solution b is equal to x. So likewise, this is like my a, this is like my b, this is my exponent. So this will become log base 1.5 solution x minus 4 is equal to the exponent y. So now I've got y on its own. Now this isn't any of these solutions here, but we're really, really close. This now, if you've got log base 1.5 solution of x minus 4, this is the same thing as saying log x minus 4 divided by log 1.5. Remember in your calculator when you plug in logs, when you press log, there's nowhere to type in the base, so you Instead of writing this, we can write it like this. These mean the same thing. So this is equal to y. And then this answer choice looks like c. All right, so we get c as our answer choice. OK. OK, so that was, I just showed you the algebraic way of solving for this problem. Um, another way we can solve for this is graphically. So. Something we know about logs are that they, or not about logs, excuse me, but inverses is that our graphs will be reflected across the y equals x line. So if you can see what our, um, this function looks like, we know that the graph is just going to be reflected across this. So let's just see what that function looks like first of all. So let's just plug that into y equals. So we'll have 1.5 raised to the x plus 4. Graph this. OK. And it looks something like this. OK. And let's just see which of these graphs reflects across the y equals x line from that. So let's type this in A first. So alpha y equals x minus 4 over 1.5. And again, what I'm looking for is some graph that reflects across the y equals x line. So it'll look something like that. It'll look something like that. We're looking for a graph that looks something like that. Let's see if this does. No, this one does not look like a reflection across that. Okay, so I will cross out A. Let's look at what B looks like. Let's see B. So alpha y equals um, log x minus 4 over 1.5. Let's see how this looks. OK, that's our first line. That's our first one. The second graph looks, it's close. It's a little bit closer, but no, I don't, that also isn't reflecting the same way. It should be an exact reflection of that across the y equals x line. So I'm going to say b also doesn't work. 
Okay, now uh, let's try C. So, oh. don't want to erase that one, then we won't have a reference point. X plus four. X plus four, okay. So let's plug in C. So we have log X minus four up top divided by log of 1.5 on the bottom graph. Okay, there's our top. There's this function. Let's see if the bottom looks like it. But you see this is a perfect reflection across that. The fact there's not that straight line there, that's actually okay. If you look at it like this though, that is a perfect reflection across that y equals x line at this point. So I'm just going to dot this just to say I feel pretty good about it, but let's just try out D to see if, just to feel, so we can feel completely confident. Let's see, 4 minus log of x over log 1.5. If we graph this, this comes out, okay, this we don't even see showing up. It's going to be somewhere else. Uh, here, I can zoom out a little bit. I'll make my window a little bit bigger just to see if... I'm just making my window a little bit bigger. Yeah, we see that's definitely not a reflection across the y equals x line. So, the answer choice is definitely going to be C here. So, uh, we did it algebraically. We did it. Um, we did it using a graph. And then the last one I was going to show you is by doing this with a table. So, with uh, what we know about inverse functions is that so here's the regular function. So if we have, if we make a table, if we have x and f of x, for inverses, you just flip these values essentially. So for inverses, your x and your f inverse of x, they're just going to be flipped values. So if we look, this is for x and f of x, let's look at our table. We have, okay, we've got 0, and we have 5, then we have 1 and we have 5.5. For our f inverse, we're just going to flip our x and y, our x and f of x values. So this would be 5, you'd have 0, and at 5.5, you would have, at 5.5, you would have 1. So we want to find out which graph, which of these four has values that match these. So we want to find out which one, when you plug in 5, you get an output of that 0. When you put in 5.5, you get an output of 1, because those values are just flipped in the tables. So let's see which of those that's true for. I'm just going to erase this down, test out each of these. So let's try it for A. If we go um, alpha y equals, and let's try to see an x equals 5. So 5 minus 4 divided by 1.5. This should give me a value of 0. If it does, then we can continue going. If it doesn't, then we know that that's definitely not going to be it. Okay, it gives us something other than zero. So A, scratch it. Okay, let's try plugging in five for B. We should get an output of zero. So log, let's see, log five minus four over 1.5. This also does not give us an output of zero. These guys should be flipped, so that doesn't work. Let's try C. Let's go log. Okay, log five minus four. Oh, alpha y equals log five minus four over log. Uh, log of 1.5 and this gives us an output of 0 so this is good right now we're good on this first one let's try plugging in another value this is for C so for so far we're good with C let's try plugging in 5.5 .5. we do log uh, alpha y here alpha y equals 
log 5.5 minus 4 divided by log log of 1.5 and this should give us an output of 1. Let's see what happens. Yes, we get an output of 1. So that both these work. This is just another way to check the answer. So yeah, this one's good. Let's just make sure for D that that doesn't work, just to prove this. D, if we have 4 minus log of 5, okay, divided by log of 1.5. This should give us an output of 0. If it does, it, but it doesn't. So again, D does not work. So we're left with C.